What's up everybody, welcome back. So for today's video, I thought it'd be cool to make one of these little field notebook, field journal covers. Um, it's got a spot for a couple cards, business cards, a little pocket in the back to store stuff. Um, should be a quick little fun project and I'll try to post up the dimensions so you guys can make your own patterns and try to make one yourself. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we'll knock out these dimensions real quick. So it is roughly eight inches wide by six and a quarter tall for the main uh, body piece. And then the other piece is six and a quarter tall like the other one by three and five eighths. So I usually will cut out three of these pieces and I just do basically a straight cut. And then you can on one of them add your little little dips um, you can kind of create your own little cutouts, do whatever you want, make it your own, and have fun doing it. All right, and for leather today, I'm going to be using this. I forget the, the tannery that does it, but it is, I think it's Azura uh, Missouri Hickory, and this is a, a five ounce. It's just a gorgeous piece of leather. Um, the back of it is already almost like it's had some kind of burnishing agent applied to it, so it's nice and smooth. And this piece is, it's a pre-cut piece I got from, I think it was uh, Rocky Mountain or District Leather, one of the two. Um, and it's eight inches tall by 18 inches. Um, so I think I can get, depending on placement, get everything out of this one piece. Um, can't remember if I mentioned it, but I want to say it's a five ounce piece. So yeah, let's get to cutting. All right, so put my pattern down. Just try to make this quick. those pieces so now I just need to basically take one of these get my arc punch punch those around these corners and we'll start putting it all together all right so this is the arc punch whatever you want to call it and I, I tried to measure it basically and mark the center on both sides so that way whenever you're if you have this on there and you're trying to line it up it makes it a little bit easier so you're not too far one way or the other so just a quick little little tip and then what else i like to do is just get my little round like circle jig and Clip off some of these corners. And then now we just basically need to bevel the edges, sand all this, and do the same thing on the other two. Then we'll be ready to glue, stitch it all together. I love it when you get it in one straight piece.
It's just a little piece of 400 just to kind of clean up, clean up some of these edges. I just grab me some tokenol or however you want to say it. Just dab a little bit on here. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and scuff this edge, scuff this, that way we can get this glued up. And then after we glue it, we'll mark a line and stitch the divider pocket like what's in this one. All right, so got it all glued up. And then normally what I like to do is try to at least get these, these edges flush, because then I can flip it over and trim off. Like there's a little bit there I can trim. And then also here. So I'll take my straight edge, put it across there and, and cut this edge off. See if I can get it on video without knocking the camera around too much. So yeah, so I got it pretty good there. And then I think this side over here, I can probably just sand most of that, but I'll try to see if I can get it. Yeah, did a little bit, but yeah, I, I should be able to sand most of that down, but just getting it close is the big step. So now we just need to find the center and stitch this piece up for the card pocket divider. So for this part, I basically already have a center line on my pattern. So what I'll do is I'll just take and, and line it up. I usually kind of set in a little further than I know I'm going to stitch. Put a dot that way if I don't go that far, it's not going to be a, an issue. And I'll do the same here. I'll go in a little further. Because so I can always run my line past it. But if I put my dots way out here and decide I don't want to stitch all the way to the end, then I can't bring it back like here. 
I didn't go all the way to the top. So, yeah. All right, so now I'll take my straight edge, kind of match it up to the holes and grab my awl and mark out my leather. So now I can take my pricking irons and punch holes and get that stitched up. All right, so I went ahead and, and marked out my, my holes already so I kind of know where. I think I am gonna run it up and over. So I basically marked my line, set that where I want it. I'm hanging one tooth over. So I'll kind of press those down to get those marked and then move it down. And when you do this, you wanna make sure you're nice and vertical. So now we'll get that stitch up. All right. For this one, I'm gonna use some Ritza Tiger Thread in the, I think it's one millimeter, uh, Havana Cigar. So I think that would look pretty good. So typically you do a little bit over and then you do four 